Security risk and compliance leaders are challenged with protecting the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of business services and confidential information. But as businesses grow and attackers become more sophisticated, legacy approaches with a high degree of manual effort will no longer be enough to keep up. In this demonstration, we'll look at how ServiceNow configuration compliance can be used to secure your environment faster. Misconfigurations can leave vulnerabilities wide open to malicious actors. And while third-party secure configuration assessment tools can be used to automatically run configuration tests, the results they produce can number in the tens of millions. Security teams need ServiceNow to work at scale. Automated triage, service-aware risk scoring, and quick integration with change management can help teams to secure configurations faster at any scale. Let's take a look. Let's start by looking at the configuration compliance dashboard. Now, this is the dashboard that an administrator would use to be able to get a quick view of what's going on in uh, their organization with regards to compliance. You can see that there's a lot of widgets here that have uh, useful information, such as the test results for compliance. And you can drill down and see details on each of these. You can see the number of policies, the tests, the test results, and the hosts. Now, this is a test environment, just so you understand why there are so few hosts in this demonstration video. Uh, you can see things like the failed results by technology, and you can see the different technology breakdowns uh, by risk rating, etc. If we scroll down, we can even see things like the failed test results by category. So you can see individual categories where the test results have failed, the open test results, and the test results groups. So a lot of information around the testing, the test types, etc. Now, we've recently added a remediation tab, so we're able to track remediation as well for configuration compliance. And you can see things like, you know, the status of remediation targets, uh, where they're at, whether it's in-flight approaching target or midst target. And again, you can drill down and see information about each one of these things. Everything in here is clickable. So you can look at the open test result groups by remediation, uh, target status, the test results by risk rating and remediation target status. So if you wanted to see there are 58 critical that are in flight, you could click on this and uh, get details around each one of those individual test results. And then the uh, closed test results. How are we doing against meeting the targets that we're setting for uh, the, the test results and fixing the issues that we need to fix with regards to com compliance? So that's a quick look at the dashboards that are available. And this is all, again, customizable and clickable. So you can drill down. This is all built uh, on the Now platform, which gives you a lot of capabilities with regards to reporting. Let's now shift and look at how we configure configuration compliance to actually help get work done. So what we want to do is look at a few key areas. <clears throat> the first being assignment rules. Assignment rules are going to use specific conditions and then assign the test results to specific groups. Let's take a uh, look at an example of that. So here we see I have a assignment rule uh, called application servers. We can see that it's active. Uh, and uh, if I want to set a description, I can do that. This is where we actually get into the meat of assignment rules. We have a condition. So in this particular case, the assignment is uh, if the configuration item starts with and then the uh, condition being win dash zero. So those are the application servers in my environment. So if the configuration item starts with that, then we're going to automatically assign this to the group application development. So that automatically will take the test results that come in from our scanner and then assign those test results out to application development if the configuration item is win zero. And as you saw, we had a, a plethora of other ones out there as well. And these are fully customizable. So if I wanted to uh, drill down even further and say, uh, you know, if it's the configuration item starts with this and the criticality is that, then assign it to this particular group. So that's a quick look at assignment rules. That's one of the areas that we help automate uh, getting work done quicker with configuration compliance. Now, the next thing that we want to do is look at remediation target rules. So we saw that we were able to look at remediation target status 
we also want to be able to set those targets. So let's take a look at an example here. In this example, we have a critical risk rating rule. So this is going to be the target for remediating critical items. So we can see the condition is if the risk rating is critical, we want the uh, target to be 15 days and we're going to notify folks in seven days. So take that and combine it with the uh, assignment rules and we now are able to uh, fully automate not only who gets assigned the work, but they are also going to explicitly know on the test results how long they have to remediate it. And they'll even get a notification uh, for that. We can even specify who the notifications go to. So we can make sure that you know the management uh, for a particular group uh, is notified if the remediation has not been completed yet. We also have information about the remediation test result status. So we can drill down and look at information about each one of these particular test results and see who it was assigned to and to make sure that we, you know, bug them and make sure that they uh, get it done in a timely fashion. Finally, let's look at test criticality maps. Now, this allows us to take the source criticality, so this is the value for uh, from Qualys, urgent, and then we map those to our target values on ServiceNow configuration compliance. And that was a quick look at the setup as well as the reporting abilities for ServiceNow configuration compliance. If you'd like to learn more about ServiceNow configuration compliance, please visit us at www.servicenow.com. Thank you.